Look at the class. <laughs> Saturday oh, sommelier. On a Saturday night, some of us like to kick back, put our feet up and relax with a glass of wine. But how much do you actually know about the grapes that make up your favourite bottle of vino? Yes, today we are starting a new series with wine expert David Wheelahan, who promises to have you educated about wine over the next few months. Today we're learning about Sauvignon Blanc. David, you are our Saturday sommelier. Wow. Welcome bravo, to the programme. Before we get into the Sauvignon Blanc itself, what do we need to know about tasting wines? and What, what are the key things you so need to... The key, what's the process? The, the, the key process is a, looking at the colour, and that only gives you sort of some fairly basic clues then we, we, we know the wine, we evaluate the wine on the palate and then we try to make, form a conclusion on it and then we might discuss whether it has an affinity with oak or not and we'll demonstrate that with, here oak. with, the, uh, with oak as well. From, from the barrels, obviously. Um, yeah. But oak as we're focusing on mm. Sauvignon Blanc today, um, the most important thing to take away with Sauvignon Blanc is to get a sense of the flavours of Sauvignon Blanc. Right. And this, to me, in, uh, on a plate, summarises what Sauvignon Blanc is all about. It's those kind of crisp, fresh citrus flavour. Mm -hmm. So um, depending where it's planted in the world, but you're always going to have some kind of citrus character and in a slightly warm area, you might have a little bit of passion fruit or guava. And then if it's a little bit warm, you might get a little bit of asparagus going on as well. But classically, Sauvignon Blanc should be fresh and zingy on the palate. That's what we're expecting. And when you're buying Sauvignon Blanc, classically, you want to drink it fresh as well. So you want to buy a fresh vintage. So you want to um, be buying 15 vintage or 16 vintage from the New World. So not, stage. you're not talking about something 1974 you, No, no. Whatever. It's, it's somebody, if you're in a shop and you see a bin end of 2007 Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, you run a mile. You right. absolutely run a mile. But Because it's all about that. Literally, what that, drink, it's what that little bit of fruit yeah. says. It should be just be fresh and zingy, mm. especially on the palate. So new... So 2015, 2016, um, nice fr and fresh. Fr fr fresh. Fresh and zesty and whatever. Chilled. Um, chill, li li lightly chilled in, lightly in, in, in the fridge. But what is interesting is the origin of the Sauvignon Blanc. It's actually been around for a little while. It goes back to the, the Loire Valley. So that's the, the starting point. The origin of Sauvignon Blanc is the Loire Valley. And they trace it back to 1534. So that's the, the first kind of no notification in any kind of documentation. It's a guy called Rabelais who did all the kind of documenting back in there. So the home of Sauvignon Blanc is the Loire Valley. And To me though, David, there will be a huge range of difference of flavour between... A lemon, between, citrus and a, a lime, lime citrus but, but it's what to give you a sense, kind of a, mm. a okay. visual that it's going to be fresh and Shall we drink? So let's, let's, let's pull so a bottle. Will we work through then the different, you mean you mentioned colour, mm. nose, palette, so... Exactly. Now the most famous place for producing Sauvignon Blanc in France is the Loire Valley. And within the Loire Valley, the two most famous villages for Sauvignon Blanc is the village of Sancerre and Puy Fumé. Uh -huh. Puy Fumé is more flinty and more suited to match with food. It's a little bit more sophisticated, arguably, um, and this terroir there is a thing called Silex. So That's the soil. This is the soil itself. So we're going to experience a high end. And just to give you a sense, there's only 3,400 acres planted in Puy Fumé. Okay. So the sound of Laura Woods running down a corridor when she heard that, no that cord <laughs> popping in the hair. It's like, it's like her bat sign. <laughs> <laughs> so Pui Fume, um, so Pui Fume is a village. The grape is Sauvignon Blanc, and we're, here we're going to get this lovely kind of flinty character going on. So colour-wise, very pale, it's very pale. pale. Yeah. So if, yeah. if, if, if so you're almost... if, if you're blind tasting wine, and always a good thing to do is hold up against a white background. You see that? So it's pale and it's okay. bright. Well, it's, it is, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. almost yeah. water, almost water white. You, you, you actually agitate the wine in the glass. So you sort of do that circular motion. Agitate it. You're Agitated. a bad there, wine. There, there you are, absolutely. And it's sweating. Bad wine. And then what, we, what we're doing is we're actually volatilizing the aroma molecules, i.e. we can actually smell the wine. So you take a little sniff. Okay. And you get those kind of citrus characters. Nothing overly expressive. But definitely it, fruity yeah. there. Definitely fruity. In the old world, it's always a little bit more restrained. So if you have a glass that's poured to you, it seems like something wrong. It's a little bit restrained. It's most likely old world. And then the quality level will point you either to the Loire Valley or the south of France. The Sauvignon Blanc is the third most planted grape variety in France. Um, and hazard a guess, I mean, the number, number one is Uni Blanc, which nobody will ever hear of, but it's the backbone of brandy yeah. and it's planted it's hugely down in the deep south of France. Number two is the Chardonnay grape and number three is the Sauvignon Blanc grape. So we is it the most popular white wine? In the world? Um, it, it is not or the Chardonnay. most popular. No, Chardonnay would be the most okay. popular white varietal in the world. Um, if you take it on your palate now, Shall you rinse we? it around, and what you find with Sauvignon Blanc is it's always very refreshing, high in acidity, so it's very refreshing. So your saliva glands are generating mm. lots of acidity. You see there? That's mm. good. It's enough. rinsing your palate. <coughs> it is, yeah. Consider our palates rinsed. <laughs> very citrusy. Oh. Yeah. Sharp. It's No, no, it's not sharp. It's precise. Oh. It's precise. It's uh, lesson one. It's not it's sharp, it's, it's precise. precise. Um, you and you imagine when you're having food. Just and you see the way your lush. saliva glands are just, just absolutely on. I mean, they're absolutely pumping away with saliva there mm -hmm. at the moment, but that's a refreshing component of the wine. And that's why this wine is designed to go with food. It's not classically mm. seen, you know, you sitting out in the, in the garden. Mm. Uh, I'm not just saying this because you, you, you presented it, but I am getting like as if you just sort of 
bit into a lemon without actually getting the whole full bitterness of Correct. it. Correct, and that's that's exactly what Sauvignon Blanc is. And you see, it's a little bit of flinty mm. character going on. Nice. You see, a latent star here. Now, come on, Simon. After I did, chef, learn, come I did on. learn a wine fact this okay. week. Do okay. you know what the angel share is? Do you know, Dave? It's, yeah, it's you it, Yes. It's the, the evaporation. The amount. evaporation between mm. wherever the liquid is at the top of the bottle that's evaporated through the cork while you mm. let a wine rest. Now, that's the angel share. Now, classically, that's associated more with brandy. So it's, it's not, uh, not necessarily totally accurate, okay. Simon. Don't rain on his parade, I'd actually dude. probably give Don't Simon about three out of ten for that bit of knowledge so, so because if, if, the, if someone had slipped away... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I so, so, so I was right, so wrong. Oak well, affinity. Yeah, three out of ten. Oak affinity, but, are we getting... <laughs> <laughs> um, but enthusiasm high. Yeah. Um, We've but, only got but, one minute left, okay, so let's perfect. get a second bottle okay, so, of wine so open. In, into the new world, and of course with the new world, yeah, right there, Tommy, you, you, you actually classically encounter screw caps, um, and um, that one's from part there, I'm fresh on here. And this is where the, the, the snobby old world is left behind, and the new world where they don't mind having a screw top. And there's nothing wrong with a screw top, screw, is there? Screw caps are good, and screw caps are going to become more and more prevalent, mm. absolutely. And there's a number of, of, of top producers in France using screw cap. Um, that colour again is very, it's up, very, very, it's very, yeah. very pale. So already, pale. it's going to taste different, but already we know it's Sauvignon Blanc it, it, because it, of the colour. Well, the colour is, is only a very basic indication, okay. but it's on the nose you're going to get the... See, you get, it's oh, it's way more, different. Much more intense. So it's it's got way passion different. fruit and guava and lemon and citrus. You get that? So different to the yeah. first one. Yeah, and like, this is Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. So Marlborough came into into vogue in in the eighties, but it, they only planted Sauvignon Blanc there in the seventies. So it's. Do you think thin. that's precise, Tommy? I would say that is a, a, a more robust fruity oh, really? flavour. It's definitely a front row. Yeah. You know, it's it's power and it's okay. it's, it's a generosity on the palate David. that you don't need food with. That's classic of New World. Consider us, well, me anyway, never mind Angel Cher over here. <laughs> Consider us experts on Sauvignon Blanc. Right, okay, fantastic. <laughs> well, we, we are, we are going to have a taste off at the end of the at series. At the end of it, yeah. A blind good. tasting between the Excellent. stars, the show.